Let's talk about lash lifts. So lash lifts have also gotten a bad rep as well as eyelash extensions, mainly because eyelash lifts or AKA eyelash perms uh, started back in the 1950s. So back then there wasn't as much technology as there is now. So let me walk you through the process of a lash lift. So first you come in and if you think about whenever you get a perm, right? Like in your hair, they take those rods, they wrap your hair around it, they put the perming solution in, rinse it out, and then you're surely temple at the end, right? So kind of the same concept whenever you come in to get a lash perm. So we take a rod, we put it on your lid, we take your natural lashes, glue them up over that rod. We have different forms, we have different rods as well. So there's different sizes. If you have longer lashes, we have a bigger rod. If you have shorter lashes, we have a smaller rod. So we pull your lashes over that rod, put your perming solution on, put your neutralizer on. And if you're someone who has brown or blonde lashes, we also have black tint, black or brown tint, um, which colors your lashes as well to make it look like you have mascara on, which is amazing. Um, after that, you're, you're done. You're good for like six to eight weeks. So the reason why people don't choose eyelash extensions is because of the maintenance, right? You can't apply oils, you can't use mascara, you you can use makeup, but like you really have to clean, I mean, you really should clean your lashes no matter what, but it's like, there's a lot of maintenance, right? There's a lot of self-care that happens at home for your lash extensions. With a lash perm, everything is permanently in place whenever you leave the studio. So there's not much to it right? You come in every six to eight weeks. You can wear mascara, wear oils, wear makeup, wear whatever you want. And it's completely safe for your lashes. You're perming them. So your lashes shed. So as your lashes naturally shed and fall out, obviously you're going to see that curl start to disappear. And that's just because when your new lashes grow in, they're growing in the old uh, formation that they were before they were permed. So that's why we say six to eight weeks because everyone's different with lash shedding but you come in, we perm you again, um, and then we tent you again. Now, with the tent, uh, it does tend to uh, fade away at uh, around like three or four weeks. So sometimes uh, most of our clients will book their lash lift and tent, and then three or four weeks later, they'll just book a tent, and then three or four weeks after that, they're coming back in for a full service lash lift and tent. So it's pretty low maintenance, and I love it because I also, I have, I'm someone who has long solid lashes but I can't get them to curl or stay curled so the perm is basically like a permanent lash curler like what a lash curler would do for you but permanently so I love lash lifting if you guys have any questions about lash lifts please feel free to message us and reach out